All right, good morning guys. Today, I'm greeting you from the jetty. In this bucket here, I have about 100 sand fleas. And uh, we're just gonna be fishing for whatever bites today. So, as you can see, it is a little bit rough out here. We got a little bit of a swell. But the water temperature is very warm. We have like 72 degree water. It's still relatively clear. I mean, not crazy visibility. We've got overall decent conditions to get out here on the rocks. And conditions can't always be perfect. A lot of times I wait for that one or two day weather window in the week when I can get out there and it's glass calm, sunny and warm. But some days you just gotta get out there. I mean, the weather is definitely not bad by any stretch of the imagination, barely any clouds. We've got a light Northwest wind at like 10, 12 miles an hour. So without further ado, let's get some crabs on the jig, drop down there, catch some fish. All right, folks. So today in terms of a setup here, we've got our light tackle jigging set up 2500 bg 76 mojo inshore this guy's only got 20 pound braid keeping it nice light and fun out here fishing with a uh three quarters ounce jaws custom baits jig and bait of the day is a whole bunch of sand fleas so it actually took me a while to get these guys off the beach i literally raked for about 45 minutes we're able to get just enough to kind of catch some fish i maybe have a hundred in there which sounds like a lot but they go so quick out here Let's get rigged up, let's catch some fish. So even though we didn't get too many sand fleas, we got a bunch of nice sized ones. Just thread it right on the jig like that. And we're just gonna be bouncing around the rocks right here, probably around this tip before the current gets ripping too much. About an hour past slack outgoing. The target species today is definitely tog. We should hopefully be able to catch our one keeper roll out here in the summer season, one fish at 15 inches. We'll just kind of fish for whatever today. We'll see what this day ends up doing. So let's get some sand fleas down there, catch some fish and have some fun. Whew. And quick shout out guys before we head into the video, shout out Nabilis again for these beautiful shorts right here. I shouted them out a couple videos ago, but wearing them again today. Check out them, use code Dylan15. And uh, also remember to hit that like button guys, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate all the support we've been getting recently. This summer has been phenomenal for the channel. So let's uh, hope we can get another good video out for you guys now. So not waste any more time, get that sand fleet down, catch some fish. Whew. Game plan for today is really no game plan. We're fishing with a three quarters ounce jig. Just gonna be bouncing the bottom here. Got an incoming current that's just gonna keep picking up the whole time we're here. We're literally just past low tide now, maybe an hour or two. So just bounce around a couple holes here, try to find some tog. Also side note, shout out to the uh, new GoPro here. Hopefully you can tell we got a GoPro 10 on my head now instead of the eight. Decided to upgrade it and uh, hopefully the quality is better for you guys. Let's catch some fish here. It's gonna be interesting to find where these fish are in the middle of August. I normally do most of my jetty fishing in the spring and fall, but. There we are, there's a fish. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. That's a good fish. Did not expect to get eaten like that that quickly. Shoot, he's in the rock. We got real light, light braid. Oh my God. I just pitched it right in front of me here and we got a snag top. <laughs> That's why he felt so weird. That's the first fish of the day though. Oh, they'll be good. He got back to the water. Awesome. All right. Let's get another sand flea down there. First fish doesn't even count really. We're just kind of bouncing around here. A lot of current there at the tip. It's a little rough for me. I don't really like fishing out there. So we ended up getting snagged, snapped off. Got a half ounce jig on now. Just got rocked. May have taken our bait. The water is so incredibly warm. These fish have just got to be fired up. There we are. Snag something. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Little guy. Oh man. Another baby tog, not even main camera worthy. Pretty guy. Definitely a pretty fish. 
I mean, they're definitely chewing pretty good. I've literally gone through probably two or three dozen decent sized sand fleas, but I just can't get them to hook. When the water is warm like this, the little fish are just absolutely fired up. So it is impossible to keep a bait down more than a couple seconds without getting absolutely stripped. Plenty of fish, just not the right size we're looking for. <laughs> There he is. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, bro. Oh my God, smoke me. Oh, he's in a rock. It's a good fish. I don't want to get rinsed off the rock though. Oh no, it's smaller. It's just stuck in a rock, I think. Still a solid fish, but not the mega I thought he was. Could be a keeper tog though, we'll see. Could be a keeper. Wow, that was a freaking battle and a half. Oh my God. Hopefully the GoPro's all right. First day and I just got soaked. All right, tail to the tip, 14 inches. He's gonna be a short, bummer. Well, it's the first sizable fish of the day. So we'll take it. Not a giant or jumbo tog by any means, but 14 inches, one inch shy of a keeper. Really warm fish. Like I'm saying, the water temperatures are just hot. Literally probably mid seventies now. But yeah, he, he chomped the jig. I mean, we've gone through literally three dozen sand fleas. It's been an absolute grind. So just hook these fish, but hey, we'll take it, sizable tog. Send her back. See you, bud. But while we were raking this morning, we got a couple calicos, so let's throw those on. Maybe we'll be able to pick up a couple bigger tog, but hey, a fish is a fish so far. That marks tog number three, the first one we hooked in the mouth. Oh man, it's, it's tough out here right now, guys, but let's get back on them. Phew. So if we really want to go for Big Bertha now, might as well throw on this calico. It'll probably end up just getting torn up, but that's an evil looking bait right there. Let's see if someone wants to chew it. Oh, wow. We actually just got railed. Someone just took that whole entire crab. I don't think we have any more in here, but that was a bite. We don't have any more jumbos like that guy, but we have a little guy here with no legs. Should be able to produce the tog. That was an absolute bite though. Might even have been a sheeper. Oh, they like these calicos, I'll tell you that. Well, that was a fun side quest, but we're already out of calicos, back to the sand fleece. If you're looking to just get some bites, it's pretty easy, pretty fun. But landing anything of size is very, very difficult. There he is. Fish on, fish on, little tog, little tog. Boom, starting to get the hang of it here, these little tiny tog. Fun to catch. See you, dude, thanks for the bite. There he is, next drop. There we are, another short, plenty of fun. See you, dude. So the reason why I think we're getting so many bites right now is the fact that we're using these smaller sand fleas. I actually ran through all the big sand fleas. There's a lot more hook exposed when this guy sits on the hook. I was exposed to one of those two inch sand fleas I had earlier. So even though it's not the best bait, we're able to hook all these smaller fish that we were just kind of feeding earlier. They would take a bite and run away, but I mean, I'm having fun catching and releasing these guys. There he is. Wow, that guy smoked that bait. Nice tog. Oh, yeah, he might even keep, dude. He's a long, skinny fish. Flat. Oh, no. Not even. 13 and a half. Just pretty skinny guy. So we're coming to an end here of our first bucket of sand fleas. Decent sized tog right there. Send him back. Put him back in the water. We have a lot of little sand fleas in this bucket here, so I've just been throwing handfuls in. And I obviously got the tog really fired up. We'll go through this bucket here. I'm gonna reevaluate, see what my plan for the day is, but I may end up coming back here, getting some more fleas and uh, trying the outgoing tide and see what we can do on that front. But overall, I mean, steady action, lots of bites. Definitely fun out here. Just got all these micro sand fleas here. Throw them in. I don't really need them for bait. They are serving as chum for sure though. I mean, I've been getting bit instantly here. 
There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That guy feels good. Unless I snagged him. I got really light braid here. I don't like being on these rocks. Oh, and he took me into one. Dang it. No, we got him out. I mean, that feels like a good fish, bro. That could be a keeper unless it's snagged. Ah, uh, aggressive female right there. Hey, probably on our 14, 13 inch right there. Beautiful female tog. Send her back. There he is. Our little short, probably. Oh yeah. Just fun fishing out here, guys. Nothing crazy, nothing extreme. It's a fun morning playing with these little togs. See you, Bacala. Oh, hi. All right, guys, and that's gonna be our last sand flea right there. Um, I think I'm gonna come back out here in the afternoon. I hate leaving on a note like this. I either wanna catch a keeper or catch a bunch of fish. So let's go grab some food, come back out here to Slack High, get some more crabs in the bucket and uh, continue the send, so I'll see you in a little bit. So one microwave burrito later, we're back here on the jetty. The sand flea expedition was absolutely abysmal. I wasn't able to rake up a single flea, but we met some nice strangers and Riptide, Riptide Bait and Tackle, shout out, who gave us a couple dozen sand fleas here. So these are all primo sized fleas. I mean, not a small one in sight, so. We'll be dropping around, looking for some tog, trying to pick up where we started. It's probably gonna be the same deal. We have the current do a complete 180, so it's headed out of the bay right now. We have an outgoing tide. Let's get down there, see if we can land our keeper. Three quarters ounce jaws, custom baits jig. Succulent bait. Water clarity is a beautiful emerald. Now let's get a bait down there now. We're probably gonna just switch sides of the jetty. Oh. Well, glad to see not much has changed, so <laughs> we'll keep on feeding these togs, see if we can get that keeper. Stay tuned. There he is. Got him. Came up high with it. Oh, the rocks, dude. They're destroying me in the rocks. We got him out, though. Little guy. Little baby tog. Felt like a tank. When they get in the rocks like that, they just feel absolutely massive. Send her back. Boom. All right, let's get our sample down there. There he is. Boom. Another micro tog. Let's try to stick to the deeper end here. We'll see if there's some bigger guys lurking. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, okay. Snap me off. Giant fish. Giant fish. Wow. Either keeper tog or big sheep's head right there. Oh, that sucks. Well, that was by far the biggest bite of the day. Either a keeper tog or a sheep's head. <sighs> Saw one little white flash here when I broke him off, but I had locked down drag. I totally forgot and uh, just did not play him right. And that's what happened. So we'll get back down there. That was definitely a solid fish. <laughs> First solid fish of the day. I would have loved to land that guy. Just happened to snap us off. So. See if we can get him again. There he is. Oh God, oh God, oh God. That's a good fish, good fish. Good fish, good fish. He's in the rock, come on out, come on out. Oh my God, stuck him, good, I might have snagged him. Oh, 14 inch or possibly. Let's get a quick measure on this guy. He's probably a short, but <laughs> way bigger than any other fish we've been catching so far today. Inch there, 13 and a half. Not a bad fish, one of the bigger ones of the day. Pretty 13 and a half inch tog right there. Inch and a half short. Let her go. You. That's a fish. That's a good 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 fish, all day. Come on. Oh, he's in the rock. Again, felt like a giant in the rocks there. Not a keeper, dang it. Oh, man. Get a quick measure on him.
13 and a quarter. Pretty fish. See ya. All right. A couple more crabs to go. That guy had me in a rock. I really thought he was the one. Oh man, time's running out. We might not be able to pull it off, but definitely been a fun day. Oh yeah, that's the trophy catch of the day right there, guys. Oh my God, look at that guy. Oh my God, that's amazing. I can't believe we just caught that. Like literally right in the mouth too. See you dude, little Bergal. Coming down to our last couple crabs here, guys. Probably only got maybe five, 10 more minutes of fishing left in me. Broke off plenty of jigs, been feeding these guys sand crabs literally the entire day. The sun's gonna set in a couple of hours now, it's like, Time just flew by today, but all fun. Just feeding these baby, baby tog and bragal. Well, obviously guys, you can tell August can be a very hard month to catch bigger fish off the jetties. A lot of the larger fish, talking to some friends that are out there diving the reefs and inshore wrecks and stuff here off the coast of Jersey. They've said they've been seeing some massive tog out there. So most of the larger fish are out offshore currently. They'll come back in in the fall. Yeah, I mean, it was a fun day of fishing. I plan on coming out here for just a couple hours, just absolutely going through a bunch of sand fleas, catching a bunch of species, but I mean, it turned out to be somewhat of a grind, at least on the size and on the species front. Um, we caught God knows how many short tog, and we had a bite literally every drop. Like, there was not one drop that I didn't have a bite, or at least a snag, so. I mean, overall, fun day of fishing, guys. This video has not been as crazy as the last couple videos have been which is all right because fishing is not always just absolute insanity. Sometimes it's chill like this and other times it's even worse where you don't catch any fish. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thanks for tuning in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, just a gorgeous day out here fishing. The Jersey Shore, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned, got some epic, epic videos coming up. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and never end the send. You.